Did you know that only two things, that's right, two things change your life? If you ever felt stuck or wondered, how can I really change my life? Good news, this video is for you. So let's get right into it. The first one is this. Something new comes into your life. Something new comes to your life. So this is the first catalyst. Well, what are you talking about, Jeff? Well, this could be a new job. Could be a new friend. Could be a new connection. Could be a new hobby. So let's say that you've always been an introvert, but you've decided to step out of your comfort zone and join a community. Okay. So maybe like an online community or something that aligns with whatever your interests are. So this, this new community could actually open doors to opportunities that you've never thought possible because now you're stepping out of your comfort zone. So now you may have networking connections. You may have other job offers, friendships forever. Okay. Or maybe it's a career change. Maybe you've been stuck in a nine to five job that you don't like anymore. And then one day you decide to, again, step out of your comfort zone, go to a conference because you've been hearing other people go into this conference about buying houses and putting them on Airbnb. They're, they're using those for short term rentals. And then a few months later, you land your first one. And then now you start to replace your income to exit that nine to five that you don't like anymore. But it's always important to remember that while these new things, these new experiences, they can be life altering. Sometimes it's, it comes down to timing, maybe a little bit of luck too. But those things a lot of times aren't in your, aren't always in your control. You know, so new things come into your life, maybe isn't always within your control. So for instance, imagine you land your dream job or you meet somebody who becomes a lifelong friend. Again, these new experiences can be life altering, but they're just the tip of the iceberg. The most profound transformations come from within you. Okay. Change from within. That is the most profound thing. Okay. It's like the difference between you going and getting a gym membership and you actually having the discipline to go and work out regularly. One is an external change. You get the gym membership. The other one is an internal commitment. Most significant one is something new comes from within you. This is where you actually take a look back you're looking in the mirror and you, and you basically take the reins of your life. All right. So for example, instead of just looking in the mirror in the morning, go, God, I hate the way that I look. I got a gut. My butt's too big. You know, whatever. I don't like my hair, my face or whatever. Okay. Instead of you doing that, complaining about it, you don't like the way you look, then you start a discipline workout routine. Or instead of you wishing you were better with your money, you decide to start educating yourself, taking a course, getting mentored or whatever about financial planning. These are just changes that stick and lead to a more fulfilling life for you, whatever you like. So it's like deciding to not just read self-help books. Okay. You're not just reading and getting the content, but you're actually now going to implement the advice into your daily routine. So the, the key to, la to lasting change is actually focusing in on this, this internal growth. Let's say, you know, when I started a blog four or five years ago, I'd never really written anything before, except whatever they had me write in school just to get by. I really wanted to do that. I really want to become a writer. Okay. So let's say you want to become a writer and you could buy, you know, a fancy laptop or notebook or, you know, the latest writing software or whatever. But guess what? All that stuff won't make you a writer, but setting a daily writing goal and sticking to it will. Your happiness, your relationships, your career, they all hinge on your ability to make these internal changes. So it's like actually planting a seed and then you actually taking the time to water it, give it sunlight, fertilizer, whatever, nurture it until it grows. All right. And let's, let's talk about what a lot of people are always talking about is this happiness. Everybody wants to be happy, right? They're talking, I mean, just look at social media, you know, everybody's posting all this stuff. Everybody wants to be happy, but they're approaching it the wrong way. Well, why do you say that, Jeff? Because again, you look at social media, what are they trying to do? They're trying to buy happiness. They're trying to buy the Rolls Royce, the Ferrari, the cars. They're trying to go on these exotic trips, thinking the car is going to make them happy. Thinking the boat, thinking the house, thinking all this stuff is going to make them happy. But does it really? When's the last time you bought a new car? How long did that happiness last? That newness last? A couple of weeks, maybe a month. And then what? Yeah, yeah it's just a car now. So happiness isn't something that you find on the car lot or, or traveling or whatever. It's, it's something that you create. Okay. Something you create. You can't control. Again, a lot of this stuff, you can't control what happens to you, 
But what you can control is how you react to that. Perfect example. I used to just get mad when I was sitting in traffic or I'm at a stoplight and, you know, there's a ton of cars or whatever. So if you're stuck in traffic, well, again, you can't control that. If you're there, well, I guess you could have gone around it, but but if you're actually in traffic and you have to go on the road or whatever, you can't control that there's this many cars in front of you or whatever, but you can choose to be frustrated or you can use that time to do something else. You can connect with a friend. Maybe you can call them. You can listen to a podcast or audio book, any, anything like that. Turn a freaking annoying situation into a productive one. I do this all the time now. It's like, you know, I, I, maybe I'll have like a 30 minute podcast or something. And it's like, I can get five minutes here. I can get seven minutes here, a couple minutes here. You know, somebody honks at me. Okay. Well, sorry. I was a little distracted, whatever. But again, so you're, you're using that time. You are basically controlling how you react to that situation. So the power to be happy again, comes from within you, not your external sources. Now let's talk about the big thing that actually, what's the glue, all this stuff that we're talking about, okay? What is the glue, one word, starts with a C, that holds all this together? If you've ever played sports before, you've probably heard of this. You, you, may, have, you may have thought I was gonna talk about discipline, and discipline is, can, is important, but this one, consistency. Consistency is the glue that holds all of this together. Whether you're trying to get in shape, whether you're trying to improve your, your relationships, could be in your marriage, it could be with, your your friends, it could be with your colleagues, you're trying to advance your career, all comes down to this. You need to be consistent. It's not about making a one-time effort, okay? I'm gonna get the gym membership. I'm gonna go to the gym, that's my New Year's resolution, I'm gonna go to the gym in January, and, and I'll go a few times and then see what happens. So it's not making that one-time effort. It's all about being consistent, establishing habits, small habits that lead to long-term success. That's it. I, um, I taught myself years ago to, to play the guitar. And if you want to get better at playing the, the, the guitar, you know, like I was, I couldn't just practice once because it wouldn't really make much difference. But I was practicing every day. Practicing every day will. Being consistent will. So there you have it. The two game changers that will transform your life. When something new comes into your life and then one you have changed from within. Hope this helps. Subscribe, like, do all that good stuff. Thanks.